Hey everyone, this is Smruti. Welcome to Q Automation Classes. So today we are going to continue on our uh, Git IntelliJ series. And in the last class we have seen how to configure your uh, Git with IntelliJ. How to give the path of your Git executable through the IntelliJ. And today we will see how to create a sample Maven project. And uh, after that we will see how to initialize a git repository and then eventually we will push it into the remote. So for today we will see how to create a simple maven project in git. So let's open IntelliJ. Let's go file new project. Okay. So there are different uh, options here. We can see project, project from existing sources or project from version control. So we are going to create the project from the scratch on our local and then we'll be pushing it into the horse and control system so we cannot use these options right or we don't have a existing uh, existing project which we are going to import here so we are directly just saying okay let's create a new blank project okay let's select project and here if you see the new project name is untitled so i'll say git IntelliJ idea integration get IntelliJ idea integration that is the name of the project and we can see the location let me go to workspaces and in the IntelliJ let me open okay so here I'll say language is Java create git repository will leave it Okay, we'll not check it. We'll see that from the IntelliJ menu. Okay, how to convert the existing project into a Git repository project. So we'll leave it as it is. So we'll say, and this is uh, Java, language is Java, and build system we are using Maven. Okay, so if you see Java is highlighted and Maven is selected over here. And next thing is JDK, which environment it has to run. So I'll say I have JDK 17.05. I think even I have with Oracle 20.0.2. Okay, so let's go with this one 20.0.2. That is the latest one uh, saying this is my JDK version. Okay, and you can see advanced settings. So we have group ID and artifact ID. Okay, so what is group ID and what is artifact ID? So let's go to Marvin. Let's say group ID. Okay. So group ID and artifact ID, right? So artifact in Maven, right? So let's go to this uh, Maven site only. So if you see group ID, it says it uniquely identifies your project across all project, right? And uh, this means it starts with a reverse domain. This shows right how to write. So if you want to write your group ID, you have to use the reverse domain name okay so org.apache.maven org.apache.commons right this is how like uh, they have given the examples right but it is clear right so it uniquely identifies your project across all projects and similarly artifact id the name of the jar without version so whenever you build your project a jar file is going to get created out of it and uh, that name will be the name of the artifact id whatever you have provided so the convention for this one you can choose whatever name you want with lowercase letters and no strange symbols it's a third party jar you have to take the name of the jar as it is distributed okay and if you want you can give the version version 1.0 1.1 or 1.2 whatever version or 2.0 you can give the versions also so let's go and fill our uh, group id and artifact id so i'll say group id is qa automation classes and artifact id git includes id integration the same as the project name okay and i'll say create so so it is uh, going to create a project and it's a sample file also got added okay so if you see the project structure we have uh, this is the folder project folder it is created in our workspace IntelliJ workspace okay and if you see here source we have main and test to folder if you go to the main we have java and we have resources 
and similarly in the test we have java we don't have resources nowadays we can create if you want we can create the resources folder here and uh, if we open java here if you see the packages qa automation classes and inside that package we have the main class and okay this is just a sample main class and it is my system dot out dot print and hello world is printing so since it is a maven project we should also be having our pom.xml so if you see here on the root uh, we have pom.xml and let's see so we have given our group id as qa automation classes so you can see that is coming here and uh, artifact id is we have given same as the project name so git intellij idea integration and version is default 1.0 and uh, whatever we have selected while creating the project we have selected the jdk version to be 20 so the compiler source is 20 and compiler target is also 20 right and utf8 okay encoding and this is a project okay so this is the pom.xml that got created this is how you create a sample maven project in um, intellij idea okay so this is as of now if you see this is everything is in our local right we have not have created instantiated any git repository or uh, there is no remote repository associated with it so next step would be to initialize this as a proper git repository and then we'll do the commit and push and pull everything we'll look into the in the next classes okay so if you guys like the content then please do subscribe to my channel we'll meet tomorrow thank you